this video, we're going to look at the question, what are digits? I'm going to start by showing you what digits are, and then let's see if we can figure out if we can add some words to those pictures. Have you figured out what are digits? If you figured out that the numbers from 0 to 9 are digits, then you are correct. They are very important numbers because we use these 10 numbers to write all the other numbers in the world. If you learn how to print them clearly, you will be able to make any number, even a very large number. All around the world, people make numbers the same way. Sometimes they print them a little bit differently. So when we read books, sometimes some of the digits look a little bit different than, than how we print them. For example, a 2. Often, we would write a 2 with a straight bottom. Some people write it with a loop. The 7 is often written with two straight lines. Some people add a third line. Looks like a cross and a T. The 1 is always written with a straight up and down line. Some people add a little line at the very top. And some people add a third line, a base line at the bottom. And some people just write it as a straight up and down line, almost like a tally. Four can be written with a triangle shape at the top or an open shape. All of these are correct. As long as everyone can understand what you're communicating, you can choose the way that you feel more comfortable writing each digit. As I started with, once you know how to use all of these digits, you can make any number in the world. Let's try a really large one. uses one, two, three, four, five, six, seven digits. This shows the number 1,634,578. It is a very big number, but it is made up of the digits 0 to 9. Let's read each digit in the number. 1, 6, 3, 4, 5, 7, 8. No matter where you live in the world, you will use these same digits to make the number 1,634,578. We're going to take a look at the numbers between 1 and 100. Count the number as I point to it. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9. We have used 9 digits to count from 1 to 9. You'll notice that when we get to the number 10, we use two digits to make the number 10. A 1 and a 0 together make 10. When we continue on, between 10 and 99, we'll be using a combination of two digits. For example, 12 uses 1 and 2 together. Is the order of the digits important? Well, yes, because if I change the order of 1 and 2 and put the 2 first, I would get 21, which
which is a different number. Let's take a look at all the 40s on this chart. Have you noticed what they all begin with? When we get to the end of counting all the 40, see if you notice what they all start with. 40, 41, 42, 43, 44, 45, 46, 47, 48, 49. They all start with 4, don't they? You will notice that on this hundreds chart, there are a lot of patterns. One of the patterns is that a group of numbers will start with the same digit. So 40 to 49 all will start with 4. When we get to the last one, 49, the first digit changes. Let's take a look at all the 50s. 50, 51, 52, 53, 54, 55, 56, 57, 58, 59. The 50s are not 5Ts. We say 50s. can be a little bit tricky. Let's take a look at the very last number in this hundreds chart. 100. It's made up of three digits. A 1 and two zeros. Let's see how well you've been paying attention and how well you know your digits. Here are a few riddles for you. I only have one digit. I am less than four. I have straight lines only. Have you figured out what it is yet? Well, if it's less than four, we know it's not nine, eight, seven, six, five, or four. It has to be less than. Three doesn't have any straight lines. A two has at least one curved line. A one has all straight lines. A zero is one curved line. So it has to be one. Did you get that? Give yourself a pat on the back. Here's another riddle. I have only one digit. I am greater than six. I have straight lines only. Well, if it's greater than six, we can get rid of zero, one, two, three, four, five, and six. It only has straight lines. Well, nine and eight both have curved lines. So, has to be, you got it, seven. Here's another one. I only have one digit. I am less than two. I am made up of one curved line. Well, if it's less than two, it's not nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two. We have two choices, zero or one. Well, only one curved line, it has to be zero. Now it's your turn. Take a look around as you're going home, going for a ride, in the classroom, anywhere. You'll notice numbers and digits are everywhere.